Good day grade 11s and welcome to today's video. Um, in this one we're looking at module 3.1 which deals with Microsoft Word um, and in this particular video we're looking just at the file menu. So remember um, we have different tabs on top here, um, each one obviously containing their own grouping of uh, individual items. Now you'll see from this I'm using the Office 2016 package okay so it might be slightly different for you if you're using office 2010 but um, they are more or less the same it's just different layouts you know a couple of different um, buttons etc what you also see from this document is that it's named document one which simply means that this is a new blank document so this is one i haven't even saved um, and it's going to be important for the videos that we do later on so if we click on file you'll see that what I have is um, obviously a link to a new blank document that I can create. I've got uh, template items here which I can select on and it displays a list of recent documents that I opened. If I click on new, um, I have prioritized here new blank document and then my templates are here at the bottom. When you click open, now open simply means that we are going to access a document that we have already created. So under my documents folder, these are some of my Word documents. Uh, but if it's not here, you can simply click on browse. Now in previous versions, if you click on open, it will usually open this window anyway. And you'll see by default, it'll go to the documents folder. So make sure um, that you look through this left hand side and make sure that you have navigated to the correct place to access that document. Once you've clicked on it, you can click open and it will then open that document. The next button is info. Uh, these items I'm going to go through in a different video. In fact, a couple of these things like save and save as I'm going to do in specific videos. But in the info tag, uh, what is actually important is this section over here. So it gives us the properties of the document, the related dates, when it was created, um, the user who created it, and we can change the author, which I'll go through uh, again in another video all right uh, then we have the print option now with the print option obviously let's say we've uh, finished our document we now want to print our document um, if you have more than one printer in this section you can go and click on whichever one you want to print to uh, your copy section obviously just tells you how many copies you want to print our settings here is where we can choose where we, whether we want to print the entire document, one page, you know, a few pages, maybe selected pages, and there are a number of options here as well. What's important is the share button over here. Now, in I think Office 2010, what we'll see is save and send. Okay, with Office 2016, it'll just say share, and this is where we can share the document direct to someone's email or present it online, etc. Then we have export where we can export this by changing the file type um, or by you know just sending it somewhere else. Um, we can create a, a PDF XPS document, but I'm specifically going to go through uh, that in one video as well. And then I can go and close it. So this is just going through the file menu, the different options that we have there, so you know exactly where to go to.